Hey, welcome back to Modeler's Emporium. And I have been a bit naughty. I have steamed ahead and forgot to video the first stages. So let me explain quickly. Uh, undercoated the um, scarf with Andrea. This is part of the Andrea um, blue range. Um, see over here, there's lots of blues. Look, fantastic, isn't it? Get out of the way, you are not in this shot. So, back to the figure. Um, undercoated his scarf with blue. Don't know if you can see that well. He's not focusing in. What are you doing, man? Um, and also, I then have started to base coat the shirt. In, you can come back in now, it's your turn. In this uh, field blue colour. Um, from Vallejo. Vallejo. Is that okay? Is that how you say it? I've heard it pronounced a few ways. Vallejo or Vallejo. Oh well, it's one of those great mysteries in the world of modelling. Okay, back to the thing. <clears throat> so, back to this figure. Um, now, I've got a little tip for you. Now, baby wipes. <laughs> Fragrance-free baby wipes. Now, if you've got a resin figure, um, just run a baby wipe over them, and it gets rid of all the nastiness, fingerprints, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty good, actually. If you can see the back there, that's where I'm starting. I do very, very thin coats, and it lets the, the other coats adhere to it. If you have a big splodge of paint onto a resin figure, it doesn't adhere too well, but... You know, this is the way we're going. So this is update number one. Um, I shall probably chop this video up a little bit and uh, do his trousers or whatever. What I have neglected to do, sadly, is I haven't pinned him uh, down at the feet there. So uh, we'll have to sort that out. So anyway, adios amigos. This is the Modeler's Emporium saying ta-ta. Ta-ta. So, okay, here's the guy with his shirt now pretty much done. Um, I'm not worried about the back too much because you're not going to be able to see that because he's going to be standing up against the truck. But the front shirt highlighted with... There's the base colour, the field blue, and we had the blue pale. And then we had the highlight field grey, which comes in a bit, bit of a greenish tinge but that's all right and then we've got the splinter pattern base which I've mixed with the blue to bring it all out get them away like so so yeah I hope that looks okay I might go back over it with a dark um, field blue wash just to tie it all in a bit and get rid of it in them horrible little patches I'm thinking about changing the color of the scarf because it seems to sort of like detract from it now I don't know perhaps a red scarf would make a bit of more visual interest we'll see anyway let's continue shall we hey okay, so here we are at the latter stages of this build or this painting actually I've already built him haven't I and I'll just zoom in onto the trousers if you can see them the trousers were obviously done with field grey and highlighted with the field grey highlight which is the 70830 for the model colour and the Panzer Aces 338 if you can see those okay now the shirt was done also with the field grey highlight but with a field blue base so I mix them together and produce this effect on here okay the boots down the bottom here don't you can see the boots very well I'll zoom out a little bit the boots were done with uh, base coated of black uh, Andrea black because it's quite flat then I covered it with the German camouflage black brown that was then highlighted with little 
uh, bits increasing with the brown sand and all Vallejo. And they're all over here, see? Look, lovely. Okay, so what I've got to do now is I've got to, well, define everything. I've got to do the arms that they've only base coated and I've got to do the um, scarf. So I will be getting on with that later on. So there we go, this is the program. Oh. So here we go, the completed figure. Did a bit of tidying up around the sides there. I did a bit on the arms and also the scarf, which I felt got a little bit lost. So I um, decided to change the color on that. Whoops, can't see him again. So there you go. This has been an enjoyable paint up. Um, I'll have to get this um, video sorted out so I can actually uh, show you the process of painting but we'll do that for another time all right then thank you very much for watching this this has been uh, andy fettis for the modelers emporium cheers good night mm -hmm.